morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad that you're here to join me for our Sunday School lesson today. Today, we are learning that God is faithful as we continue to explore the Bible and answer our question, who is God? Now, today's Bible story involves a baby that was a sign of God's faithfulness. And faithfulness means doing what you say you're going to do and being who you say you're going to be. So let's see how God is faithful in our story today. Before we get started, you might want to grab your Bible. Um, I will be reading the scriptures, but if you'd like to follow along, you can have that handy. And you will also need a piece of paper and something to write with. Now, I am gonna be using black construction paper, but you can use anything that you have. And also crayons, markers. Um, I'm gonna use a colored pencil just because I it shows up on the black construction paper. So. Grab what you need. If you need to pause, go ahead and do that. Okay, let's get started. Now, today we are learning that God is faithful. Like I said, in our story today, we're going to see how God was faithful to give a man named Abraham something that he really wanted. And what Abraham really wanted was not a doll. He wanted a baby. So let's hear these words from Genesis chapter 15, verses two through three. I'm reading from the Living Bible translation. Now Abraham's talking to God and he says, Lord Jehovah, what good are all your blessings when I have no son? For without a son, some other member of my household will inherit all my wealth. So Abraham really, really wanted a little baby to be his heir. But he and his wife, Sarah, had no children. Now, an heir is someone who inherits all your things when you die. And Abraham wanted to know that when he died, all of his possessions or belongings would go to his son, to his own child, um, not to a cousin or a distant relative or someone that worked for him. And God is faithful. Abraham didn't have what he wanted, but God made him a promise. We continue on. Verses four through six, uh, God answers him. Jehovah told him, no, no one else will be your heir for you will have a son to inherit everything you own. And then God brought Abram, his name was Abram at that time, outside beneath the nighttime sky. And he told him, look up into the heavens and count the stars if you can. Your descendants will be like that, too many to count. And Abram believed God, and then God considered him righteous on account of his faith. So God promised to take Abram's empty dreams and fill his life with as many descendants as there are stars in the sky. Now, descendants means kids and grandkids and great grandkids and so on and so forth. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your piece of paper and I want you to Fill it with stars. Now you can draw a star shape or you can just put dots all over yours. And what I did was I just put on a page, I put a bunch of white dots so that you could see them really well. So you can work on putting your stars on there while I continue the story. Now, God didn't fulfill his promise right away. It was several years later when the time was right, God kept his promise to Abraham and his wife, Sarah. God is faithful and he always keeps his promises. And this is what happened. In Genesis 21 verses one through three, we read, then God did as he promised and Sarah became pregnant and gave Abraham a baby son in his old age. At the time God had said, and Abraham named him Isaac, which means laughter. So, oh my goodness, you can imagine when they finally got that baby boy and they named him uh, Isaac, um, how much joy that brought into their household, how much laughter. So what I want you to do is I want you to take one of your stars and I want you to write the name Isaac. It's I-S-A-A-C. So make one of those stars be for baby Isaac, okay? Or you can just circle it. Get mom or dad to help you if you need some help. Now, some of you might be thinking, if you're reading ahead, you might notice that Abraham and Sarah only have one child. They only have one baby. So 
If God promised Abraham as many descendants as the stars, but Isaac is the only child that Abraham and Sarah had, is God really faithful? Hmm. Well, let's dig a little deeper and see how God kept his promise. Now, if you were to continue reading, you would see that Isaac had two sons, Jacob and Esau. So label two of your stars for Jacob and Esau. You could do a J and E if you'd like, or just circle them. So I've got Jacob and Esau on there. And then you'll find out that Jacob had 12 sons, 12. That's a lot of names. So if you want, you can look in the Bible and you can find all those names. I'm just going to circle 12 stars. So one, two, three, four, whoop, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So you see, in just a couple generations, God was already keeping his promise, filling up Abraham's family tree with stars. And in fact, one of these descendants, remember the, I, uh, Abraham's ch son Isaac had sons and they had sons and the, ch the children had ch more children all the way down until one of the descendants is Jesus. So pick one of your stars to be Jesus. I'm going to make my Jesus star a little sparkly because he's Jesus. So there we go. Wow, God is faithful. He did give Abraham a lot of descendants. But there's something else that you should know about how God kept his promise to Abraham. So if we look in the New Testament in Romans chapter 4, verse 16, it says this. So God's blessings are given to us by faith as a free gift. We are certain to get them whether or not we follow Jewish customs if we have faith like Abraham's. For Abraham is the father of us all when it comes to these matters of faith. Abraham is the father of all who believe in Jesus. That's so cool. That means that even if you're not related by blood to Abraham, you are one of his descendants through faith in Jesus. You are a sign of God's faithfulness to Abraham. So pick a star and put your name on it. And then you can even put you can name stars for your family and for all your friends and church family that you know are believers in, in Jesus. But save one of your stars or put an extra star for our closing. So you can see, wow, all of these stars. Well, right now, I would like to take a look at a fun video that I have for you. It's about two sisters who use their creativity and just supplies that they had around the house to retell this story in a fun way. So watch and see how rock solid God's promises are. Enjoy. Wow, that video rocked. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, God is faithful. He was faithful to Abraham and you're one way that God has kept his promise. And God is faithful to us too. Let's ask for his faithfulness. So I want you to grab your star paper and remember I had you save one of your stars. I want you to think of something that you would like to ask God to help you with, um, something that you'd like to pray for. And so touch your star and think of a word or two that you could use to sum up what that prayer is. And you can write that or draw a little picture around your star for that. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to ask God to watch over my family, to be with them and keep them safe. Um, all four of my children are not living at home right now. And so I uh, do ask him often to watch over them. So I'm going to pick the word protection because I like it. Um, I am always asking for God to watch over the people that I love. So there, I wrote protection on my star. So then I'm going to ask you to hold on to your star and then bow your heads in prayer with me. Dear Lord, thank you for being faithful. Thank you for always keeping your promises to us, for always being with us, for loving us, for taking care of us, and for forgiving us. We lift up all these prayers, these desires of our hearts to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, and you can put your picture up someplace to remind you of how God is faithful. Now, 
There is an old hymn, a song that praises God for being so faithful. And I would like to close our time together with that song. It's called Great is Thy Faithfulness. And I hope that you enjoy it. I also have a couple more activities if you'd like to look in my packet and enjoy that, a couple games that you can play. I hope that you have a wonderful week. God bless you. See you next time.